The country is no longer respected. Think of it. Our economy is crashing. Inflation is out of control. Our currency is crashing and will soon no longer be the world standard. I have never been more fearful of the state of this country than I am right now. Yeah. Fearful about the economy, foreign policy, our future, our kids, our grandkids. If you pay too much attention to what's happening, you can easily conclude that America is a rotten country. Three minutes ago, something massive happened. Elon Musk spilled all the details about Trump. This shocking revelation has sent waves across the internet, leaving everyone buzzing with questions. What could these secrets reveal about our future? The air is thick with anticipation as we wait to see the consequences unfold. Join us as we dive into the depths of this explosive story. What will we find next? Trump, immigration, and the media. Three years ago, the country was proud to be energy independent. Now, it's in chaos, partly due to the actions of political rivals. Well-known figures like Donald Trump, Tucker Carlson, and Elon Musk, along with voices from Fox News, have been sounding the alarm about the dangers facing the nation. They stress how today's politics can have big effects on everyone around the world. These prominent individuals argue that the current political climate is fraught with risks and that the decisions made today will shape the future for generations to come. Trump, a big name in the scene, says that despite being treated badly, he remains a loyal American, waiting to see what happens in the political battles ahead. His campaign team is doing well, showing strong poll numbers, even with the heated elections going on. His story often clashes with the critical tone of the elections, causing many heated discussions, especially around important voting times like Super Tuesday. Trump's supporters believe he represents a return to strong leadership and clear policies, while his detractors see him as a polarizing figure who exacerbates division. A hot topic is immigration. It's argued that new immigrants are taught that the country's founders are to blame for today's problems, stirring up racial tensions and making workplaces toxic. This kind of talk divides people and messes up society, as seen in Biden's campaign strategies that use fear to win back support. Critics claim that this narrative creates a hostile environment where people are judged by their ethnicity rather than their character and contributions. This approach has led to workplaces becoming battlegrounds for ideological conflicts rather than places of collaboration and productivity. Then there's the talk of advanced technology, like artificial superintelligence, which brings its own set of worries, much like approaching a black hole where predictions fail. In this tense election scene, Trump has set himself against Biden, calling him the worst president and blaming him for issues like uncontrolled immigration and bad economic decisions. This high-stakes rivalry is not just about personal vendettas. It represents two very different visions for the country's future. Trump's narrative suggests that under Biden's leadership, America has lost its way, becoming weaker, both economically and politically. The conversation also touches on how media and politics shape public opinion, with accusations flying about stock market tricks and shady deals, casting a dark shadow over economic discussions. Trump talks about rising gas prices and links them to policy decisions he believes harm regular Americans, promising big changes if he gets back into office. He argues that energy policies under the current administration have led to higher costs for consumers and have made the country more dependent on foreign oil. Ironically, the very people trying to weaken Trump's influence end up making him more powerful, boosting his political and financial standing. This is made worse by heated debates over policies like diversity, equity, and inclusion, which some see as biased against whites, challenging the idea of America as a place of equal opportunity. These policies are intended to promote fairness and inclusion, but are perceived by some as creating new forms of inequality and resentment. The backlash against these policies has become a rallying point for Trump and his supporters, who argue for a merit-based system where individuals succeed based on their abilities and hard work. Such discussions highlight the deep divisions and ongoing struggles over the country's direction as the political scene heads toward what could be a defining moment in its history. As the election draws closer, the stakes seem higher than ever. Every policy decision, every campaign speech, and every media report is scrutinized for its potential impact on the future. The nation stands at a crossroads, with voters having to choose between very different visions for the future. Moreover, the debate over the role of government in the economy 
continues to rage. Trump's economic policies focus on deregulation and tax cuts, which he believes will spur growth and create jobs. In contrast, his opponents argue for more government intervention to address income inequality and provide social safety nets. This fundamental disagreement about the role of government is a central issue in the election, reflecting broader ideological divides within the country. Another critical issue is health care. Trump advocates for a free market approach. I'm going to take such good care of women's health care issues, you won't even believe it. Arguing that competition will lower costs and improve quality. On the other hand, his opponents push for expanded government involvement, including proposals for universal health care. This debate affects millions of Americans directly, influencing their access to medical care and their financial security. Education is also a hot-button issue. Trump and his supporters advocate for school choice, allowing parents to use public funds to send their children to private schools. They argue this will improve educational outcomes by fostering competition. His opponents worry this will drain resources from public schools and increase inequality, leaving disadvantaged students behind. And so the political landscape is charged with debates that touch every aspect of American life, from energy independence to immigration, from economic policy to education, each issue represents a different vision for the future. The decisions made in the upcoming election will have far-reaching consequences, shaping the country for years to come. But this isn't the end of it. The ongoing battles and debates are not just about policies, but about the very soul of the nation. What kind of country does America want to be? The answer to that question will be determined by the choices voters make, guided by the narratives spun by their leaders and the media. As the election approaches, the urgency of these discussions intensifies, with each side fervently believing in the righteousness of their cause and the dire consequences of the other side's victory. The nation's future hangs in the balance, waiting to see which direction it will take. Many organizations today have moved away from their original goals and have turned into activist groups. This change often surprises their donors, who may not realize how much the group's activities have shifted. Across the United States, there are serious moral issues seen in many videos. These problems are not just in big cities. Even small towns with about 10,000 people face these challenges. For example, in a small town full of young people dealing with addiction, homelessness, and neglect, drugs flow easily due to loose border policies shaping the future. This situation is similar to historical patterns, like the big waves of immigration in the late 1800s and early 1900s. These waves brought progress, but also social issues. Cities like Chicago went through a lot of turmoil, partly because immigrants, who didn't fully understand American society, got involved in radical politics. After the intense immigration period, the U.S. cut down on immigration during and after World War I, leading to a time of national reflection and integration. The Great Depression was another tough time for America, but it led to important programs like the Civilian Conservation Corps, this program helped stabilize the country by giving people jobs and a sense of purpose. It shows how important oversight and regulation are, much like how a referee ensures fair play in sports. This idea also applies to business and technology, where rules help ensure safety and fairness. When it comes to artificial intelligence (AI), lawmakers were told that AI could bring great benefits or cause harm. The talks about this technology were described as polite and important possibly leading to new laws. Even though legislative processes are slow, there was hope that progress is being made in the right direction. There is also a loud outcry against open borders and unregulated immigration, with some saying uh, it's like an invasion of the country. This argument includes economic policies, especially about energy independence and the high cost of energy, which some think might force American car manufacturing overseas due to strict regulations. Political talks often get heated, with claims that certain actions or lack of actions are ruining the country. The debate also reaches the judiciary, where some say political bias and conflicts of interest hurt justice. In this charged environment, even discussions about legal cases and judicial decisions become contentious, showing deep divides in how justice and governance should be handled in America. This division highlights the ongoing struggle to define and stick to the values and principles that should guide the nation. As organizations evolve, their original mission can get lost. Many groups now focus on activism, 
which can surprise supporters who aren't aware of these changes. This shift is seen across the country, with moral issues becoming more visible through countless videos. These problems are not just in major cities, but also in smaller towns with populations around 10,000. For instance, one small town struggles with a significant number of young people dealing with addiction and homelessness, worsened by the easy availability of drugs due to weak border controls. The current situation mirrors past events, such as the massive immigration waves in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These waves brought both development and social disruption. Cities like Chicago face significant challenges as immigrants, who had not yet integrated into American society, got involved in radical political movements. This period of heavy immigration was followed by a significant reduction during and after World War I, allowing the nation to reflect and integrate the newcomers. During the Great Depression, the country faced another major test but responded with programs like the Civilian Conservation Corps, which provided jobs and stability. This period highlighted the need for oversight and regulation, similar to how referees ensure fairness in sports. This principle extends to other areas, including business and technology, where regulations are necessary to maintain safety and fairness. Legislators have also focused on artificial intelligence, which they warned could have both positive and negative impacts. Discussions about AI were seen as crucial and civil, potentially leading to future legislation. Despite the slow pace of legislative processes, there is optimism that progress is being made in the right direction. But this wasn't the end of the challenges. There is a strong outcry against open borders and unregulated immigration, with some arguing that it amounts to an invasion. This debate also touches on economic policies, particularly regarding energy independence and high energy costs, which some fear could push American car manufacturing overseas due to strict regulations. Political discussions often become intense, with accusations that certain actions or inactions are harming the country. The judiciary is not immune to this polarization, with claims of political bias and conflicts of interest affecting justice. In such a charged atmosphere, even legal and judicial debates become contentious, reflecting deep divisions in views on justice and governance in America. This polarization emphasizes the ongoing struggle to define and uphold the nation's core values and principles. As organizations change, they may drift from their original purposes, turning into activist groups and surprising their donors. This shift is evident nationwide, where serious moral issues are highlighted in numerous videos. These problems are not limited to big cities, but also affect smaller towns with populations around 10,000. For example, a small town struggles with many young people facing addiction and homelessness, worsened by the easy access to drugs due to lax border policies. This scenario is reminiscent of historical trends, like the large immigration waves in the late 1800s and early 1900s. These waves brought growth and social challenges. Cities like Chicago experienced significant turmoil as immigrants, who hadn't fully assimilated into American society, got involved in radical politics. After this intense immigration period, the U.S. reduced immigration during and after World War I, leading to a time of national reflection and integration. During the Great Depression, America faced another major challenge but responded with initiatives like the Civilian Conservation Corps, which provided jobs and stability. This era underscored the importance of oversight and regulation, much like referees in sports ensure fair play. This principle applies to various fields, including business and technology, where regulations help ensure safety and fairness. When discussing artificial intelligence AI, lawmakers were informed that AI could offer great benefits or cause harm. These discussions were important and civil, potentially paving the way for new legislation. Even though the legislative process is slow, there is hope that progress is being made in the right direction. But this wasn't the worst part. There is also a strong opposition to open borders and unregulated immigration, with some arguing that it resembles an invasion. This debate extends to economic policies, especially concerning energy independence and high energy costs, which some fear might drive American car manufacturing overseas due to strict regulations. Lethal Power in Trump's Campaign Political discussions often become heated, with claims that certain actions or inactions are damaging the country. The judiciary is also a battleground, with accusations of political bias and conflicts of interest undermining justice. 
In this polarized environment, even legal and judicial debates become contentious, reflecting deep divisions and views on justice and governance in America. This polarization highlights the ongoing struggle to define and uphold the nation's core values and principles. Some people don't like President Joe Biden. They point out his long career in politics, mentioning his multiple attempts to become president. Critics believe his last campaign was more about defeating Donald Trump than genuinely serving the country. They argue that once he became president, his main goal was achieved, and he didn't have much ambition left to help the nation. This perception fuels the belief that Biden's presidency is more about personal victory than national service. In contrast, Donald Trump entered politics by choice, not necessity. Already successful, wealthy, and famous, he stepped into politics to save a country he believed was in trouble due to dishonest and incompetent leaders. He promised to make America great again by challenging the Washington elite, mocking their claims of virtue, and criticizing policies he found harmful or foolish. Trump presented himself as a truth teller in a city of lies. This approach made him a polarizing figure, adored by some and despised by others. This honesty, uncommon in Washington, struck a chord with many Americans. It made them question the skills and motives of their politicians, journalists, and experts. This had a big impact, sparking a national conversation that demanded accountability from those in power. However, the establishment in Washington felt threatened by this wave of skepticism and closed ranks. They used their usual tactics, protecting themselves through legal and political moves like impeachments, raids, and arrests. But this wasn't the worst part. Trump became the main target of a huge effort to bring him down. Fines, legal challenges, and a judicial system seemingly set against him. Meanwhile, real issues affecting everyday Americans were ignored. This paints a dark picture of a political scene where those in power use self-serving tactics instead of addressing problems like crime, economic instability, or border security. People felt that the government was more interested in its own survival than in solving the nation's problems. Amidst this chaos, the message emphasizes personal resilience and advocacy. It suggests turning frustration into positive action, not giving into despair, but fighting for justice and truth. It highlights the importance of focusing on critical issues that impact daily life, rather than getting distracted by political theater. The narrative encourages individuals to stay informed, stay engaged, and demand real solutions from their leaders. However, this is not the end of the story. The call for personal resilience and advocacy stresses that every individual has the power to make a difference. It encourages channeling frustration into positive action, emphasizing the importance of fighting for justice and truth. The narrative urges people to focus on critical issues that affect their daily lives, rather than getting caught up in political distractions. The narrative continues by rallying people to see themselves as key players in the story, capable of making a difference. It's a call to citizens to engage, question, and demand a government that truly serves the public. This narrative emphasizes the dramatic stakes, framing the political struggle as a defining moment not just for individuals, but for the nation itself. The message is clear. Every individual has a role to play in shaping the future. But there's more to consider. The narrative also highlights the importance of unity and collective action. It suggests that individuals, when united, can hold those in power accountable and drive meaningful change. It calls for solidarity among citizens to address the real issues affecting the nation. This collective effort is seen as crucial in overcoming the challenges posed by a self-serving political class. Furthermore, the message underlines the need for vigilance and persistence. It warns against complacency and urges continuous engagement in the political process. The struggle for justice and truth is ongoing, and the fight for a better future requires sustained effort. The narrative portrays this journey as a shared responsibility where everyone's contribution counts. But this isn't the final chapter. The story concludes by reinforcing the idea that the nation's future depends on its people. It calls on citizens to remain hopeful and proactive, believing in their ability to bring about positive change. The narrative leaves readers with a sense of empowerment, urging them to take action and be the change they wish to see in the world. Do you think the current political landscape is driven more by personal vendettas and power struggles than by genuine concern for the nation's well-being? 
Don't forget to like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more.